Guys, hi, this is Trey, aka the Cringe from Total Justice Gaming, sponsored by The Baba. Alright. So I bring you a deck profile on my Sun Dragon decks. Um I, this is before what is the next set, Joe? What's the next set called again? Yeah. Dark Lord's Rebirth. Alright, this is before Dark Lord's Rebirth with all the uh Ball of Soleil impact stuff. So um this will change probably one more time. Um, so, but uh, so obviously the buddy is a shining sun dragon ball dragon. This is the one that comes out of the secret pack. Uh, give me just one second. All right, so, so it's call cost. Uh, pay one gauge. Put the top card of your deck into this card's soul when this card attacks for this turn. This card gets plus 5,000 power. So his original stats are 3 2 3. He'll become a 8 2 3. He has natural built in penetrate and soul guard. And then at the beginning of your final phase, put the top card of your deck into your gauge. So it's really good if you have to use some gauge and you're just like one shot, you go into the next bit. Alright, so starting off with the threes, we play one Bald Super Sun Dragon Ball Soleil, Buddy Rare. And then we play one of the. Deity of the Sun Baldus Lay from the uh, Indianapolis Championship promos. Oh, we like it as a one and one right now. We're probably going to up this one to two later on. Um, all right, so we'll go to this if you guys don't know. So, Baldus Lay, Pitch Gauge, put, put, and put a monster from your field in this card's soul. So, this will not keep the soul of the card that you put in. If it said to put it on top of, it would, but this says put a monster into. So it will not retain the soul. So don't don't think that it stacks. It doesn't stack that way. Um, so it's a seven two seven. Um, if there's one more, if there's one or more cards in the soul, it gets plus one crit. And if you would be dealt damage, it's reduced by one. And that's all damage, attacking, effect damage, whatever. Um, I guess life link if you threw it in a deck that had life link, but I don't I don't know where that would come into play. Um, it's got double attack, soul guard. A counter skill, you may pay one gauge. If you do, destroy a monster in your opponent's center. All right, that's pretty basic. You guys know him both, so, they, so just in case you don't know what the promo does, it's um, the same stats, size 3, 727. Um, call cost, pay two gauge, put on, put a monster from field in soul. So same thing, it does not stack soul. Um, when this card enters the field, you get two options. Either destroy a monster in your opponent's center, or for this turn, this card gets plus two crit. So you can either destroy the monster, or you can have a 7-4-7 seven, seven with double attack and soul guard. Um, like I said, it's just one and one right now. The deck will always be changing up. Um, but that's it for the size threes. Um, so obviously, our buddies... The one from the secret pack, so we play four, obviously, because if you want a buddy call, you better play four. Um, we went over this earlier, so you guys know what it does. Um, now, we also play three of the original Dragon of the Sun, Ball Dragon. Um, five, two, three, size two monster, pay one gauge. Um, when this card attacks, for this turn, it gets plus five, so it's, it's your 10k beat stick that's a size two. Um, and it has built-in penetrate. Uh, not much to say about that, it's just, it's really good for getting over very tough defenses with one attack only. And look, we tech one of this uh, promo. This is the promo that uh, combines with the dual Jaeger promo. Uh, the pictures combined or whatever, the clashing one. Um, so this is a uh, Super Clash Ball Dragon. Uh, it's 10,000, 3 crit, 5,000 defense. Cast cost, pay 3 gauge, put a Sun Dragon from your field into your gauge. Um, when this card enters the field, you may put 5 Sun Dragons, and it's just Sun Dragons, not monsters, not items, not spells, just Sun Dragons. So anything you can get. Uh, from the drop zone on the bottom of your deck in any order if you do destroy all monsters on the opponent's field I take one of this because it's one of those things where, like if I have an overabundance of gauge and then my opponent's trying to rush me down with like a rush deck so say knights, osmodi, stuff that can call a lot of monsters I'm just gonna drop this 
board wipe them and make them have to reset. So they're going to have to drop their hand next turn. So we just take one of it. We like it that way. Um, size ones, we play two of the Awakened Ball Dragon. He's your size one of uh, three, two, one. He has no call costs. When it enters the field, you may return up to one dragon, sun dragon item from your drop zone. So this lets you get your impact or any other uh, item that you would like to get, mainly just the impact. You normally mill the impact where it's in the drop zone and you drop the ball and get it for free. All right, play two of those. Um, we play four of this other card that came out of the secret pack. Uh, four copies of Shaking Hands Dragon. Um, it's a size one, three, two, one. Uh, when it, when a card on your field stands by the effect of your cards, put the top card of your deck into your gauge or draw a card. This ability only activates once per round. So. Very rarely do I use this to get the gauge. Honestly, normally I have plenty enough gauge, and I use this, and I've done it against uh, the Mamba before where I've drawn the card, and the card I drew was the impact monster that we needed to win the game because we didn't have one in hand. So um, it's... It's a 50-50 shot, but it's it's really good. It pluses you. No matter what you do, it just pluses. All right, so we play four of that. Oh, and this card uh, only comes in the secret pack, I believe, unless it gets repowered later. Um, we play three copies of... I can't even read this. Uh, Flare Device Dragon. So it's a 3-1-1, it's size one. Um, let's see, if you have an originally size three Sun Dragon on your field, reduce the size of this card by one, so it'll become a zero. So that's that's good if you have Bold Soleil, it gives you stuff to link attack with besides your item. Um, when this card link attacks with another Sun Dragon, for this turn, this card gets double attack. So that's one of the easier ways for early game for making this play work. Uh, early game, you probably use this and this, link attack, restand this, then use this to get the free gauge early game. That way, late game, you don't need the gauge, and you can just draw the cards to save yourself or, like I said, get the impact and go for game. So, um, there's a lot of good... This card, I mean, the stats are not great. You mainly use it just to get the link attack skill off because, like this this deck is, it you want to profit off of this card because this card is ridiculous um, so I play three of that and then of course if you don't play this card in a Sun Dragon deck you were just not playing Sun Dragon so you need to play Fire Flare uh, Flare Fang Dragon I play three copies uh, 311 Inner's Field Flare Gith if you have another Sun Dragon on your field a uh, monster or item does not matter or even spell um, put top card deck engage and draw a card uh, Flare Gift only activates once per turn um, just you're very good Call something, call this, gauge one, draw one. You can even call over this for later. I mean, it, you don't even have to use it. You can just use it for the effect and it'd be fine. Um, it's it's generic, you have to use it in the deck. Um, we had to cut this down to three of, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but I could not find the room anywhere else when I needed to cut stuff earlier. Um, I run three black spotted dragon black dot. This is our size one that's a five one one. It has the best offense ever for a size one and it has the movability and it cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. In my opinion, it's one of the most broken size ones in Sun Dragons. This card is just stupid. Um, so your opponent likes to blow up your monsters before you can impact do your final phase because half the time, well, every time you always have to have a monster. You either have to destroy one yourself or you have to call on top of and during your turn, obviously, they're not going to be able to attack it, so counterattack's a big thing, or just blowing it up. So they have to return this, which means it's their this <laughs> card's only major flaw is cards in Magic World and maybe some Hero World cards. I can't remember off the top of my head, guys. Um, but it's it's really good, and if I could if I could find a way to put the fourth one back in, I would because it's just a good size one 5K. It's great, and it's got move, which is amazing. So. That is all for our monsters. We're going to move on to our items. Um, I tech one Sunstone Ball Flame. Um, this is, I tech one just because I, I like playing items early. And obviously, if you're playing your um, 
Uh, your Dragon Force, you can't play it too early unless your opponent just opens up and deals three or four crit to you, and if they deal the three, you manage to take a damage and then equip it on the very first turn, so... Um, play, play it, it's five power, two crit, uh, pay one gauge, equip, and it's got the counter effect, uh, you can sack it to reduce the damage by two, so you can always just play it early, and then if you want to go to six, and your opponent's will swing for a big number, you can re do, just reduce the damage to where you're not taking such a heavy hit. Um, but we take it as one for early gameplay. Then we play four copies of Dragon Force style of the impact. Now we have two buddy rares and two secret rares. Uh, we, from our boxes that we ended up getting as a group, I ended up with these two buddy rares and I had, I think, I wanted to say seven of these. Um, all right, so we're gonna get into this really quick. All right, so um, uh, so generic uh, release cost uh, six or less life and ball dragon, and then they added balls to lay on your field for this one. Uh, pay to gauge, equip it. Uh, beginning of your final phase, you may stand this card, and for this, uh, let's see, for this turn, this card gets plus one crit. So you swing with it, three crit. Restand it at the beginning of the final phase, it gains a crit, goes to four. Swing with it again, and then one of the impacts that we play, and we'll show you in a minute. Well, actually, which the Mamba Boy, he uh, he figured this out, which is, I'm giving props for because he doesn't play Sun Dragons uh, almost ever, unless you watch the videos from today's <laughs> tournament that we held. He played this Sun Dragon deck. Um, the the impact monster will actually stack more crits on this and restand this, so you can actually get three full swings out of this card. And then if you have the tech one of spell that we play later, which I'll show you guys, you can swing for it five times. So wait, oh wait, hold on. my mouth's off. One, two, restand again, three, rest oh, four, four attacks, four attacks. The first one's at three, the second one's at uh, four. If you do the impact, it goes to a uh, crit of five when you link attack, and then you restand it, and it goes to six. And uh, it will not be crit six, it will be crit five again, but um, this card is just stupid it guarantees you that even if you can't get any monsters once you release this card you'll always have two attacks hopefully they will not have super ridiculous defense and you can just pound them in the face with this um play four of obviously uh, i got onto that one too much all right so we play our sun dragons from sun dragon shields from the secret pack we play all of them they are beautiful artwork we love them uh you guys know what sun dragon shields do by now if not look it up um, we play two blue dragon shields, um, nullify, gain engage, um, not much say. Uh, we play this card that we like, Dragonic Loop. We like this card in combo with our size one. Uh, I'm going to get it just in case you guys don't remember the name, Black Dot. So we like moving Black Dot to the center. This is the one shield that's specific to the monster instead of me being attacked. So I move him to center, they attack it. I bounce him back to my hand. He stays in my hand, and I gain a free gauge. So it's when the opponent attacks a monster uh, that has, that's a size 2 or less. If they attack one of my size 2 or less, I return it to my hand and place top card in the deck and engage. It's 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 really good. Um, if you need to save your ball dragon because you're not quite at six and they keep targeting it, you bounce it back to the hand, use it later. Um, it's overall, it's a decent card. Uh, I play three sun mirrors. All right, so this is another defensive card. I can only cast it if I'm being attacked. So do not think that it's your monsters because it's definitely only you. When you're being attacked, nullify the attack, and then if your opponent does, it nullifies the attack no matter what. Then if your opponent does not have a monster in the center, you remove one of their gauge. All right, so I mean, first turn. Unless your opponent knows that you have these and they're playing a deck that doesn't call to the center that often when they call the monster, or even if they just equip a weapon, you just use it and neg them a gauge on the very first turn and save your own ass. So you give up a card, you lose one of their gauge. 
normally if they have equipped something, they'll already be down a gauge, which means they'll probably only have one left or none left at the end of that turn. So it's just ridiculous. Um, we take one of, and I'm probably going to find room to put in a second. This is the spell card I told you about that lets us restand our item. So um, I only cast this call if you have Ball Dragon on the field, which is all of our size twos and all of our impact monsters, which we'll get to those in a second. Um, pay one life for cast calls. Stand an item on your field. You only cast this once per turn. Now the reason why this is really good is because... All right, we'll, we'll get to this in a second. I need to explain other stuff first. All right, so we play our generic gauge card, uh, Ball Rescue. It's got two effects. Top, card, top effect is, we play four of it. Top effect is put two cards from top of your deck and engage. Bottom effect, if you have a monster ball dragon in its name on your opponent's field, oh, ugh, on your field, you can return one sun dragon monster from your drop zone. This includes impact monsters. So don't think that it doesn't. It's really good. Um, so if you end up milling a bunch of them or running through them fast or they all get gauged, you can get them back with this. So it's 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 a good gauge card. Um, now we're going to move into the impacts really quick. All right, so we tech in one ball dragon all out ball orb. Um, this is the original rare from the first set Sun Dragons came out of. Uh, pay two gauge and let's see it's a it's size two obviously all the impacts are size twos uh six three five pay two gauge put a sun dragon from your field into your drop zone when this card enters the field either destroy a monster in the center or if your opponent does not have monster center uh, take a card away from their gauge and deal a damage to them so this card has no down effect and if it wasn't for the fact that the ball to still lay impact is going to be so good, I wouldn't take this out when that comes up, but I will. Pro this probably will get rotated when the next set comes up. But it has no downside to its effect. You either blow up a monster or you lose them a gauge and deal them a free damage. I, I don't know. I don't understand why everybody's not running at least one of these. It's There's no downside to it at all. Um, then we cut our barbarians down. Uh, we played two ball dragon extreme rage barbarians we cut it down we used to run four but the deck changed its methods instead of destruction it's uh based around the new impact so all right so it's a seven three six size two pay two gauge put a sun dragon from your field and drop zone counter skill activate put the top three cards of your deck in your drop zone if there are two or more sun dragons among them that spells, items, monsters, impacts, whatever you can find. Um, as long as it says Sun Dragon attribute, you can destroy uh, destroy a monster on your opponent's field. It can only be used once per turn, but it can be used during both turns, yours and your opponent's. So it's good. I keep it at a two of, and it will probably always stay at two of. All right, and this is the other card. We were on four of the one that came out of the Buddy Champions. Um, originally, this card completely sucked no, no, no. No, 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 no. when it That's first came out because it did not work with the this? Dragon Force from, in my opinion, did not work for the Dragon Force it. from the Buddy Champions because unless your opponent's full field is full of nothing that has, unless it just has Soul Guard only, you're not going to need to blow up the board to deal damage again. And it defeats the purpose of giving Penetrate because you'll just nerf out your own attack. So, um, it's stats 10, 2, 5, um, pay through gauge, put this card on top of a Sun Dragon. So it's got the same call cost as the, uh, Ball Burst Smasher. Um, when this card in this field, stand a Sun Dragon item on your field, and for this turn, it can, that item can attack during your final phase. So it even works on our, uh, Sunstone Fist card that we keep the one of in. Um, because it allows it to attack during the final phase, which is great. Um, when this card link attacks with another Sun Dragon item for this turn, that item and this card get Penetrate and Crit plus one. So, like I showed you earlier, this is the combination that our buddy, the Mama, came up with for us. This is the reason why we play four of this right now. We might cut it down to three. Mama always gets shoutouts, dude. When he comes up with good plays, he gets shoutouts. 
All right, so what else do I need? I need this. Um, all right, I think that's basically all I need. Um, all right, so during the turn that this works, if you have this in hand, you call this. Uh, we'll just use this to where we've got something to show with. Um, so this is in your hand. These two cards are here, both in your hand. That doesn't matter right this second. So attack, whatever, attack three crit, declare final phase, restand. It is now crit of four. If they have no monster center, swing crit four phase. They either guard it or they don't. Either way, it doesn't matter. You pay your three gauge, call this, restand this. This is crit of four for the rest of the turn because this card says for the rest of the turn it gains crit. Now, link attack, this is now crit. Uh, I just forgot the number. All right, uh, five. This is crit five and this is crit three. That's a link attack of eight. Both of them have penetrate. Let's see. For this turn. So, this card even retains the penetrate for the turn. Because of the skill. It, it retains the crit off of this and the, and the penetrate. So, this card is a 5,000 crit 5 with penetrate item. After this swing happens, if they are still not dead, you pay the one life. You have Ball Dragon on the field. You restand your item and swing crit 5 again. By then, if they're not dead, I, I'm be serious, you should just scoop because they are either the luckiest person ever or something is happening. But this deck is great. Um, if you want to build this deck around this card, I suggest you build the deck around restanding cards, which means you're going to need to invest. Yeah, like and those size ones that I was talking about earlier, the, well, if I could find them, I can't, I've misplaced every card I have. Um, you're going to want to try and get these. Just because if this is on your board, you restand. It is a once per turn, and it is the ability itself, so you cannot have two of them out, restand this item once, and gain the gauge and draw the card. Otherwise, that's just stupid um but anyways um if you're gonna build it around this card try and make it uh kind of restand heavy restanding the items play at least two of this like i said i'm only i've only got room for one i'm about to up at the two probably the next few days and this deck will have probably one more deck profile guys uh right after the next set drops thank you and good night